interface mass transfer so this is the exercise which is dependent on the concept of interface mass transfer and here we have our first example a gas mixture is in contact with a liquid and the component P in the gas mixture is highly soluble in the liquid and the possible concentration profile during the absorption of the pure of the B are shown in the choices where X is the molar fraction of the P in the bulk liquid and Y is the molar fraction of the P in the bulk gas XI is the molar fraction of P at the interface in the liquid YI is the molar fraction of P at the interface in gas and Y star is the equilibrium gas phase mole fraction corresponding to XI. So in this case if we consider an example of ammonia plus air in which the ammonia has to be absorbed by making the use of water. So if you take NS3 plus air in which NS3 is component A and air is component B and water is component C. So in this case if we draw a profile this is the concentration of A in liquid and here if you plot the concentration of A in gas and this is we have an equilibrium curve and at this point we have a mole fraction of the component A in gas that is YAG and the corresponding we have X A star that is the equilibrium composition of A and here we have the molar fraction of the component A in the gas at the interface and this is the mole fraction of the component A in liquid at the interface XAI and here we'll get Y A star that is the equilibrium the composition of A in the gas and this will be our uh, X E L that is the molar fraction of the component A in the bulk liquid means this is our X E L if you closely look to this graph then we come to the conclusion that Y A G should be greater than Y E I should be greater than Y A star so from this options we need to see where Y A G is greater than Y A I and this y i should be greater than y star so let's look at our example a this is our y a g means y the mole fraction of the p in the bulk gas here i have mentioned it as y a g and y are one and the same so y a g is greater than y a i okay and y i should be greater than y a star so here we have our answer not how this is our answer but we'll look at the rest of the options that why these are not the correct choice so here if you see that y a g is less than y a i so this is not our option and here if you see that here again y a g is less than y a i but it should be greater in the case of absorption as they have mentioned the problem for an absorption and here we have y a g is greater than y a i but here it should be yi that the molar fraction of the component a at the interface in gas should be greater than the equilibrium molar fraction of a but here it is less so d is also not the correct choice so our answer is gonna be the option a let's take another example And here we have our next example for which of the following combinations does the absorption operation become gas flame control and the options are the solubility of the gas in the liquid is very high Q is the solubility of the gas in the liquid is very low R is the liquid side mass transfer coefficient is much higher than the gas side mass transfer coefficient and S is the liquid side mass transfer coefficient is much lower than 
gas side mass transfer coefficient so here gas film controlled so gas film controlled implies that the resistance in gas side is higher which means that 1 upon ky is higher and this implies that capital ky is less and when capital ky is less this implies that the capital kx is high that is the solubility of the gas in the liquid is high so p is one of the option and in another case we know that if x if kx is high then the liquid side mass transfer coefficient is much higher than the gas side mass transfer coefficient then p and r are uh, correct answers if you draw the graph of this representation okay this is a graph and here we have our equilibrium curve here we have the molar fraction of the component a in the bulk gas and the corresponding will be our equilibrium composition of A in the liquid and here we have the mole fraction of the component A at the interface in gas and here we have the mole fraction of the component A at the interface in liquid and here we have the mole fraction of the component A in the bulk liquid and here we know why star that is the mole fraction of the component A in gas at equilibrium and from here we know that if we linearize this curve by taking the slope m prime so our m prime will be equal to y a i negative y a star divided by x a i and this will be a negative x a l and we know that Na that is the molar flux can be written as the oral mass transfer coefficient Ky times Yag minus Ya star and this Yag minus Ya star can be further expanded as Yag minus Yai plus Yai minus Ya star so this y a g minus y i can be written from this equation that is the molar flux n a divided by the capital k y y a g minus y a i so from the concept of the two resistance we know that if we draw a curve this is our interface and here we have our gas side here we have our liquid side and if you draw the curve it will be something like this this will be yag that is the mole fraction of the component a in the bulk gas and this will be yi that is the molar fraction of the component a at the interface in gas and here we have so the curve something like this this is the molar fraction of the component a at the interface in liquid and this is the molar fraction of the component a at the bulk liquid XAL so this can be written as and we know that at the interface we assume that there is no resistance at interface and the diffusional flux in the gas is equal to the diffusional flux in the liquid which means Na is equal to small kx times XAI minus XAL which should be equal to ky times yag minus yai so we know that na is equal to ky times yag minus yai and we have another assumption that at the interface the molar fraction of the component a is in equilibrium with the molar fraction of the component the more the composition okay the composition of the component A in the gas phase and the liquid phase are in equilibrium. So here we have 
the first assumption that is there should be no resistance at interface and the second assumption is the diffusional flux in the gas and liquid are equal and the third assumption is the composition of the component A in the gas phase and liquid phase is in equilibrium. So we know that this yag minus yai can be written as na over small ky so we'll put this value here so this will be na over small ky plus this yai minus y star can be written as m prime times xai minus xal and this can be further written as we know the value of xai minus xl from the two resistance concept so this is na over small kx so this can be written as na over small ky is equal to na over it, this should be na over capital ky this is na over small ky plus m prime upon small kx times na so this na will get cancelled and we are left with 1 over capital KY is equal to 1 over small KY plus M prime over small KX. And if we want to do that our operation must be gas flame controlled then in the case of the total operation to become a gas flame controlled then 1 upon capital KY should be equal to 1 upon small KY which implies that this term should be 0 and this term will become zero when the slope will become zero that is in this graph we'll get something like this so when the slope is zero then one upon capital ky is equal to one upon small ky and we know that the gas side resistance is equal to one over small ky upon one over capital ky into 100 so as these are same then we'll get the 100% gas side resistance so here are option p and r are the correct answers let's take another example okay so here we have a question the individual mass transfer coefficient in moles per meter square second for absorption of the solute from a gas mixture into a liquid solvent or small kx is equal to 4.5 and small ky is 1.5 the slope of an equilibrium line is 3 which of the following sentences are controlling a liquid side b gas side c interficial and the both a and b so what we are going to do is first we know that 1 upon capital KY is equal to 1 upon small KY plus M prime upon small KX and in very similar fashion we can write for the liquid side so 1 upon small KX is equal to 1 upon 1 upon capital KX is equal to 1 upon small KX plus 1 upon M double prime times small KY and now we need to calculate 1 upon capital KY and 1 upon small 1 upon capital KX so here we have 1 upon capital KY is equal to 1 upon small KY is 1.5 plus slope is 3 over KX is 4.5 so capital KY will be equal to 1 upon x this should be equal to 1 upon 1.5 plus 3 upon 4.5 and this capital KY should be equal to 0 0.75 and we know that 1 upon small capital kx should be equal to 1 upon small kx is 4.5 plus 1 upon slope is 3 times small ky is 1.5 and therefore capital kx should be equal to 1 upon capital kx should be equal to 1 upon 4.5
plus 1 upon 3 times 1.5 so this is 2.25 and now we know that the gas side resistance the gas side resistance is 1 upon small ky over 1 upon capital ky times 100 so this will be equal to 1 upon small ky is 1.5 over 1 upon capital ky is 0.75 and this is our 50 percent okay and our liquid side resistance is equal to 1 upon small kx over 1 upon capital kx into 100 so this will be equal to 1 upon 4.5 over 1 upon 2.25 and this is also 50 percent means both gas side resistance and liquid side resistance exist in equal amount and so D is our correct option both A and B so let's take another example okay so in this case in this case let me focus on this equation that how did we get this okay so if we plot the graph of the concentration in gas versus the concentration in liquid so here we have our equilibrium curve this will be our yag that is the molar fraction of the component a in the bulk gas and the corresponding will be our xa star that is the molar fraction of the component a in equilibrium and here we have the molar fraction of the component a at the interface in gas and here we have the molar fraction of the component a in the liquid at interface here we have the molar fraction of the component A in the bulk liquid XAL and here we have Y star so in the case of liquid phase if we linearize this curve by taking M double prime as our slope then M double prime can be written as YAG minus YAI over this should be X star minus X A I. So in the liquid side, we know that the molar flux N is equal to the overall mass transfer coefficient in the liquid K X times. This should be X A star minus X A L, and this X A star minus X A L can be further expanded as X A star minus X A I plus X A I minus X AL. and we know from this equation that our x star minus x l is n a over capital k x this term which should be equal to our x star minus x a i can be written as y a g minus y a i over m double prime so this will be y a g minus y a i over m double prime and this can be written as plus we know that from the concept of the two resistance we know that Na is equal to small kx times xai minus xal so this xai minus xal can be written as Na over small kx so this will be Na over small kx and we know that in the case of the two resistance concept Na is equal to small ky times yag minus yai so this yag minus y can be written as Na over small ky so this will be Na over capital kx should be equal to this can be written as Na over small ky times m double prime plus Na over small kx we can take this molar flux common and this will get cancelled and we'll get 1 upon capital Kx is equal to 1 upon 
small k y times m double prime plus one upon small k x and this is what is I have written here okay our next example is consider the steady state mass transfer process between well mixed liquid and vapor phases of the binary mixture comprising the two components A and B the mass transfer of the component A in the bulk liquid XA and the bulk vapor phases are 0.36 and 0.16 respectively the mass transfer coefficient for component A in the liquid and the wafer phases are 0.1 moles per meter square second and 0.05 moles per meter square second respectively. The vapor liquid equilibrium can be approximated as Y star is equal to 2 times XA for XA less than 0.4. The mass transfer of A in the liquid at the interface this should be a mole fraction the mole fraction this should be a mole fraction of a in the liquid at the interface up to two decimal places is okay so we know that from the concept of two resistance so from two resistance concept this will be our interface and here we have gas side here we have our liquid side and here we have the curve like this so this will be our yag that is the mole fraction of the component a in the bulk gas and this will be yi that is the mole fraction of the component a in in gas at the interface and this is our mole fraction of the component a at interface in liquid and this is a mole fraction of the component A in the bulk liquid so we can write here that at interface as we are assuming that the diffusional flux in the gas and liquid are equal so we can write Na is equal to small kx times xai minus xal and this should be equal to small k y set the bracket y e g minus y e i so we can make the use of this formula this expression and our k x is in the liquid it is mass transfer coefficient is 0 0.1 moles per meter square second times x a i we need to calculate and x a l is 0.36 is equal to small k y 0.05 moles per meter square second times y a g is 0.16 minus now this y a i can be written as 2 times x a i and we need to find x a i from this equation so this will be 0 0.1 multiplied by xai minus 0.36 this should be equal to 0 0.05 set the bracket 0 0.16 minus 2 times xai and our xai should be equal to 0 0.22 so the mole fraction of the component a at the interface in liquid is 0. 2, 2. So let us take another example.